Hey, so P5 Live allows you to have a live version of your P5GS sketchy. A live version means that each time you're going to press the play button on your P5GS editor, your sketch in, will be up, updated live and refresh the page on however many instances of your sketch you have loaded. So this is useful, for example, in art settings where you have screens a bit in different places, but they are hard to access and you want to refresh them remotely. So let me uh, do a quick demo here. Uh, this is a very simple sketch that if I press play, you will see it's a ball moving around in its canvas. And the whole entirety of the code fits into those less than 50 lines of code. Um, and what I would do usually to put that on an artwork, I would kind of copy the present URL and I would put that on a screen. So that could be a tablet, that could be a smartphone, that could be a screen that can uh, display a web page. And I would put that on my web page. The problem with this is that if now I find out that actually in that particular scenario that I'm running into in that particular uh, context, uh, maybe I need a ball that is a bit smaller. That's an artificial example, but I would, so then I would edit this on my editor. But if uh, I have this version of my sketch already running there, I would have to go and physically reload the page to see the changes. So what P5 Live is, is an automated way to uh, do this refreshing process. So you do not have to have a physical access to the device to refresh your uh, sketches. Uh, and that is really useful to allow like quick iteration. So you can simply work on your uh, sketch and see live how this, uh, as this instantiate on different devices or on different uh, places. So let's do a demo. So P5 Live uh, website is on the side. You will find the URL as attached to this video. And basically what you do is you put, you give your username and you give uh, your sketch ID there that you can find on the URL of your editor. And when you press the load button, this redirects you to a tailored URL for your sketch. And this will look exactly as what we've seen before. It's just a full page view of uh, your sketch. The only difference now is that if I want to change, let's say, the color of the ball to red, if I save this sketch and press play, compared to what happened before, you'll see that this sketch, and I haven't clicked any button, this sketch has been reloaded automatically. And so I can do more changes. I can change the size of the ball. Maybe I want the playing field to be bigger. And when I press play, I will have the reloaded version there. So this URL, you can simply duplicate it as many times as you want. So for example, this will be a second version, let's say on another screen or in another installation. And if I want to update, update, update them all at the same time, I'm just doing my changes. I'm going to bring it back to the original version, saving, and clicking the play button to deploy. And then you will see my screen reloading automatically and showing the new version. To show you this, I can go even further. I have on my phone, just here, I don't know if we can see that, probably not. But yeah, a bit on the side. You can see that I have the version loaded on my phone screen. And I happen to have a um, duplication of that screen here. So that's what's happening on my smartphone, so which is another uh, style of devices. And if I change again, it's exactly the same process. At this point, I think you understood. I'm going to make the board move a bit faster in my code when I press the play button. And now we should have all those three instances being reloaded automatically from uh, given my changes. So my screen is a bit slow because I have a lot of things running on my computer right now. Uh, but you can see that all the sketches have been properly uploaded. So feel free to use P5 Live as you wish. What you have to do, and I suggest you read uh, the readme file, is you have to do add these lines, it's like 10 lines of code at the beginning of your sketches 
trigger the reloading process. And very quickly, what this code does, it checks that you're running within the editor, and then it connects to a server and send a reload event. Each time you press the play button, this, this code gets executed and tell all these pages to reload at the same time. That's it. I hope you'll make uh, amazing thing with that.